Hi guys, um, sorry this video is so late. Here's my review of Torchwood Miracle Day Episode 5. Now, if you guys can remember what I didn't like about Episode 4, one of the main th problems I had with Episode 4 is that everyone was uh, forming a group to kind of categorize these uh, forms of dead people, so to speak. Um, and in Episode 5, that pretty much stays the same. I basically spent the entire 50 minutes wondering when the heck they were going to give us the plot. Um, Oswald Danes doesn't really seem to be doing much during this episode except stirring the pot with Jack, and Jack is annoyed because he has to stay on the sidelines. I think it was a poor choice by Russell C. Davies to put Captain Jack on the sidelines and make him mortal. Uh, because Captain Jack is what we love about Torchwood, or at least what I love about Torchwood in the series. Um, episode 5 didn't really do much in terms of a reveal of what Phicor's plans were for the dead people, except to um, explain that what um, the uh, pharmaceutical company was going to do was to... Um, basically burn all the dead bodies that were like pretty much supposed to be dead and learning this information while it was slightly shocking that the pharmaceutical company would just burn all the dead people it wasn't really that much of a surprise it was shocking when you initially saw it but it wasn't really a surprise I think that the writers really need to do some uh, work on the characters of Rex and Esther. Um, they are the least fleshed out characters I've ever seen in the history of the Torchwood program. I think that Captain Jack and Gwen and Reese are the strongest characters of the entire show. And I don't believe it's because we've uh, seen them for three years or gotten to know them over a three year period. I believe it's because their characters actually have things that make them unique and funny and likable. These two new characters, including the doctor uh, that Rex is in love with, all of those people have no personality at all. Or if they do have some form of a personality, it's an archetype. Now, nothing really happened in this episode, so I don't really know what else there is to say. I think that the writing has been extremely weak this season. I've talked to other people who like or love Torchwood, and they say it's been too Americanized. And after giving half the season a fair shake, I'm going to have to agree. There was just a certain punch about the original Torchwood. You know, you didn't really have to feel like you were on your guard when you were watching Torchwood. Anything could be said at any time by the characters uh, that would be surprising or make you laugh or make you feel something. All of those things that made us emotive about Torchwood are now gone. It's just our three characters thrust into America trying to solve another crisis. Except they're not really getting to be who they originally were in the UK edition of the series. I think that, um, as hard as it is for me to say, I think um, that uh, John Barrowman needs to hang up his Captain Jack jacket. I think um, that the show needs to be over because they're not doing right by us. They're not doing right by us Doctor Who Torchwood fanboys. We love Torchwood because it's darker than Doctor Who. And so far, we're not seeing that. We're not seeing the humor. We're not seeing the sadness or the anger that we're supposed to naturally feel when we're watching Torchwood. I'm sure a lot of people felt it during Children of Earth, but from who I've spoken to, not a lot of people are feeling it for Torchwood Miracle Day. And that's a problem that the writers need to fix immediately. If I were writing Torchwood right now, I would quickly introduce the villain for in Episode 6, explain what significance that villain has to Captain Jack, 
explain how that villain ties into Captain Jack's mortality, and also tie it into the future of Captain Jack as the face of Bo. And that's what I would do if I were Russell T. Davies and I were actually still writing this show. But as we all know, these shows come out way after they've been written, so there's not really much that um, I can do about that. I think the show is uh, very weak right now, and to get it stronger, you might as well scrap what's already happened and give us a credible villain. I would love to see Captain John Hart from Season 2 of Torchwood come back and cause some havoc. Everybody loves uh, James Monsters, so bring him back. Have him cause some chaos, because whatever villain you're actually making us wait for seems not to be worth the wait. I don't know. What did you guys think of Torchwood Episode 5 or Torchwood Miracle Day so far? Put your comments below and um, if you think that I did a good job on this video, then please, I guess, like it. But um, I think that us Torchwood fans need to put another uh, section of comments below on what we'd like to actually see happen with Torchwood. Because it seems like a lot of people don't think that Torchwood is still Torchwood. So let me know. Thanks. Bye.